Hi everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another CNC tutorial. And in this one, we're looking at how to set the right speeds and feeds for our CNC machines to create various CNC projects. Now, when we say the term speeds and feeds, we are referring to the settings for how quickly our CNC machine travels and cuts our material. And of course, these settings will vary based on the CNC that you're using, like the Carvera or Carvera Air desktop CNC mills, as well as the materials that you're cutting and the bits that you're using to perform these cuts. But we've put this video and supporting guide together to help you get started with CNC production, as well as to set your manufacturing projects up for success. The first thing you need to identify are the recommended parameters for your CNC machine. You can find our recommendations for the Carvera and Carvera Air desktop CNCs on our wiki page, as well as in the tool profiles for the different CAM programs that we support. CAM, or Computer Aided Manufacturing, is the software that we use to actually set up our projects for manufacturing with our CNC machines. We would set our speeds and feeds in CAM software as we choose our cutting tools. And you can learn more about how to use CAM software and choose a cutting tool in our other guides on our channel and wiki site. It's important to understand that the speeds and feeds that you choose will drastically impact the success of your CNC projects. Setting something to cut too quickly could break a bit or even damage your machine. This is why we always recommend starting slow and working with the lower end of what's recommended before starting a new project. It's also always good practice to perform test cuts, and we talk more about this in our guides for selecting stock, which you can find on our channel and wiki site. Now, as we adjust the feed and the speeds, there's a few different parameters that we need to consider. Spindle speed describes the speed that the spindle is rotating the cutting tool at, and this is typically measured in RPM or rotations per minute. The cutting feed rate, measured in millimeters per minute, is how quickly the machine moves as it's cutting along the X and Y axis, while the plunge feed rate is the speed at which the machine plunges or lowers into the stock to begin cutting, and this is typically much slower than the cutting feed rate. In general, when working with harder materials like metal, we must set our spindle speed to be faster and our cutting speeds to be slower. This will allow for bits to cut the harder materials with a clean finish, but also avoid breaking bits during the cutting process. But for softer materials like epoxy or woods and plastics, we can increase the travel cutting feed rates, but we also want to reduce the spindle speed for optimal results. Something else important to consider is the maximum depth of cut or step downs per pass. Harder materials and smaller bits require less materials to machine at a time. We would want to set smaller step downs and do more passes to perform a deeper cut. This will not only avoid breaking our bits, but also reduce the wear on our bits, which will keep them sharper for longer. We also need to ensure that the step over is within a safe percentage based on our bit diameter. Step over describes how much the bit moves over or overlaps for each cutting pass, and this is usually between 50 and 70% of the bit's diameter. Here you can see the recommended speed and feed settings for different types of bits and materials materials on our wiki page, and you can also find recommended settings within the Makehara store for the bits that we provide. These settings are recommended for desktop CNC mills like the Carvera and Carvera Air, and they're intended to serve as a good starting point for your CNC project. As mentioned, you always want to start on the lower end of recommended settings to avoid accidental breakage or damage to your machine. This might not give you the quickest or most efficient cut but it should help you find initial success. It's also important to note that these recommended parameters are for bits that are 3.175 millimeter or eight inch in shaft diameter. When working with larger bits, such as ones with 6.35 millimeter or quarter inch shaft diameters, we can use the same ratios for step over and depth of cut, but the cutting feed rate should be slower so that the spindle can maintain the correct RPM with a larger diameter bit. And of course, this also depends on the specific material you are working with, and you should always perform tests as you adjust your parameters safely. Remember, start slower and work your way up. More things to consider which are equally as important as choosing the right feed and speed is choosing the right bit as well as pairing the right bit with the stock that you choose for your CNC project. You can learn more about this in our other videos and guides on the Make Hera YouTube channel and wiki page. Please also don't forget to subscribe for more content and thank you for watching.